Hello data managers, this is Mr. Dunbar and today we'll be looking at activity 5 in unit 5 uh, where we're going to be solving probability problems using counting principles. So consider these statements. The probability of rain tomorrow is 60%. My, the Maple Leafs stand an 85% chance of winning their next game. You're familiar with both of these ideas. The probability of rain tomorrow is 60% that means there's a 6 in 10 chance that somewhere in Toronto you're gonna see rain. The Maple Leafs standing an 85 percent chance of winning their next game? Well I'm not so sure about that one. That might be more fiction than, fan, than fact, but depends on whether you're a Maple Leafs fan or not. So anyway, both of these are probability statements. So intuitively we think we know what probability is. There's a good chance our intuition is correct, but let's take what is intuition, and let's find out what is fact. So there are a few key terms I want you to focus on before we get started with anything more. So you've already seen the term probability, chance, both are indications of a probability. Now a, a key feature of what we've been working with so far is that we are dealing with equally likely outcomes. So that means there is an equal likelihood that something will happen. So let's look at a horse race. In a horse race we've got 10 horses and we're going to assume that each horse has a 1 in 10 chance of winning, a 1 tenth chance. So that means there is an equal likelihood that each of the 10 horses will win. So that means that even the red blanketed horse will have a 1 in 10 chance of winning. So we call this a theoretical probability because we are assuming equally likely outcomes. So now we have another term we're going to take a look at. So let's consider games of chance with dice. So if you roll a single die that is fair, and that die has six sides, uh, if you roll that die six times, you should roll each of the numbers once. One, two, three, four, five, or six, since there are six possible outcomes. And we think they are equally likely, provided that die is fair. Now, in reality, we know that this won't happen, not because the die isn't unfair. So, what you're going to do with the rest of these tasks is you're going to investigate the difference between the theoretical probability and the um, experimental or empirical probability of these examples. So here's the second term you should pay attention to, empirical or experimental probability. If you're dealing with something that's empirical, it means you are obtaining it by observation. Uh, something that's experimental, it means you're obtaining it by uh, manipulation, by experimenting. So that is it for the content for this particular uh, lesson. The next video will be taking a look at the questions and answers that go with the examples.